Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a mommy morning routine. So I'm going to take you along for my entire morning and just kind of show you what I get up to. I've got to say, life with two kids is definitely much more full on than, you know, just with one kid. But it's really lovely at the same time. So I'm excited to take you along for the day with me today. So we started our day at around 7 a.m. That's when Sophie usually wakes up um, and she usually has a breastfeed first thing in the morning. Then I just wanted to change her crib sheet. So I took that off and changed it with a fresh one. Um, and I also made the bed quickly while I was there. You don't have to wake up. I'm also going to restock the nappy caddy that we have here on the side of the changing station just you know to make sure it's all full and ready for the next night or just throughout the day when I have to change her. Already did a load of laundry my husband put this on and it's ready to be hung up to dry. Laundry is just never ending when you have a newborn. So Sophie was now asleep in her swing. She usually has her first nap in here which she really loves so that's you know that kind of works really well for us. I'm just gonna start tidying up. This is Victor's breakfast from this morning. He had actually pancakes with Nutella on top. A lucky boy. So he was off to school already um, and while Sophie is asleep I'm just going to start making my breakfast um, and just kind of you know take the chance to eat as quickly as I can before she actually wakes up because when they're so young you don't know if you're gonna get 20 minutes nap or you're gonna get an hour nap you never know <laughs> so I'm just gonna have breakfast I'm having porridge with some jam um just a quick one and a nice cup of coffee to start my day the TV in the room we'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food Put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Then she was starting to wake up here, but she was still chill in the swing, so I just left her in there for a little bit longer um, so that I could tidy up in the kitchen. I'm just using my Purdy and Fig um, spray cleaner. It's really amazing. I always have a discount code linked in the description box for you guys um, in case you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I love using this because it's non-toxic um, and, you know, it's just nicer, especially when you have a baby around. And it also smells amazing. I love the orange scent especially it's my favorite one um, then I'm going to go ahead in the living room and help my husband because he was actually changing Sophie he had a little poop explosion you can't really see here thankfully but yeah she was very happy to have her nappy changed here it's always like this like you get interrupted a lot when you have a little baby and I think the key here is just to try not to get frustrated just to kind of go along with it and accept that it is what it is so I'm back in the kitchen now to finish tidying up just kind of loading up the dishwasher um, and then I'm also going to wash the bottles um, and the sterilize as well if you're new around here we do mix feeding so breastfeeding and formula feeding <music> And for sterilizing the bottles, this is what I do without any equipment or any special sterilizer because I find them bulky and they're also expensive to be honest. Um, and you know, it's just another thing to clean. So what I do is I just pop a kettle on and the boiled water from the kettle, I just pour it on the bottles and leave it there for like 10 minutes. And even if they're not fully submerged, it's fine because the steam also um, sterilizes them. So yeah, it's just super quick and easy and you don't need any fancy you know, equipment to get this done. If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Then it's finally time for me to get dressed for the day. So I'm just gonna go upstairs and quickly pick an outfit. And honestly, it's like that meme that you see on Instagram, like what kind of leggings um, and sweatshirt combo am I gonna wall them with today? Because <laughs> that's literally what I wear 
pretty much every single day like some sort of leggings outfit which i um i love anyway and then after i got dressed um i would usually do my makeup as well but she was actually ready for a feed she was getting hungry so i just went downstairs gave her her bottle she has started falling into a bit of a routine which is really nice it's not super strict because you know they're still young but but i do try to follow as much as i can obviously it's not perfect but i try to do the you know wake up have a feed, play and then sleep just to kind of break up the eating and the sleeping so she, she doesn't associate that. And then it's time for some playtime for her after a feed um, and we are playing here with the Love Every toys that she absolutely loves. Like honestly, these are the best toys that I've ever got them for her. These were kindly sent to us by Love Every. I'm working with them on this video so thank you to them for that. Um, but Sophie is honestly obsessed with this. So we have the play gym that's really really cute. I like that you can kind of fold up all the sides if you want it to be all neutral. Just you know when you tidy up at the end of the day you don't have to stare at a whole bunch of toys. And the thing that Sophie is obsessed with is this little slingy thing um, and it's got like a contrast black and white thing at the bottom and she just loves it. She does the biggest smile when she sees this. And that toy is from the play kit that Love Every have and this one was the um, 0 to 12 weeks I believe. It was the very first kit that they do for babies and now they have kindly sent us the next one which is the 3 to 4 months old. And it's got such lovely toys like you know all of the little texture things that they can feel and lots of really lovely wooden toys as well so I think it's a really nice thing to have for them um, and it kind of you know makes it easier for you you don't have to kind of sit down and research all the kinds of things they need for each age they just kind of do it all for you so yeah love every is definitely a favorite of ours at the moment and she really loves the high contrast cards as well so yeah we're just gonna play around with these I show her only one or two toys at a time not too many so that she doesn't get overwhelmed um, and then we also do a bit of tummy time and my tip is to do tummy time once they're you know rested and fed so they're not upset like if you do this when they're sleepy or they're too hungry obviously they're not gonna have fun with it so I try to do that when she's fat rested and she's happy to do a bit of tummy time and I don't leave her there for too long just kind of you know maybe a minute maybe two minutes depending on how how she is so if she starts getting tired or frustrated then I will just stop tummy time because I obviously I don't want it to be something stressful for her I just want her to enjoy it and just practice those um, neck muscles basically at her age at around two months old um, they kind of last between 60 to 90 minutes awake time um, and then they're ready for a nap um, so I kind of try to watch her um, like watch her cues after that time has passed so after 60 minutes or so I look out if she's um, getting tired and a few signs of that um, is having you know kind of red eyebrows or uh, red around the eyes rubbing their eyes um, big yawns and just kind of getting a bit more fussy I guess and when I notice that I just put her you know in her crib or in her swing or wherever I want to have her nap so this nap I just did in her crib just so we can practice one nap a day in there um, and she fell asleep by herself which was really really good it doesn't always happen but you know when it does I am really pleased and while she napped I just took 10 minutes to do my makeup super super quick just kind of you know freshened up make me feel more awake and more productive for the day as well one thing i'm really loving postpartum is nice leggings so i used to get really cheap leggings because i felt like you know they're just leggings but i wanted to get some really nice ones because i honestly wear them like 99 percent of the time so i got these lululemons um but i got them unvented they were new but they were from someone else unvented um and you can get them for like a really good price um that way um and yeah they kind of hug your tummy and even even if it's kind of wobbly because obviously postpartum that's how it is um, it feels really nice and supportive it was a Monday when I filmed this video and we usually get our food shop on a Monday morning um, so we just got everything delivered this is one tip I have for you if you're a mom or a new mom um, just doing the online food shop and having it delivered to your house is usually not too expensive like you can get the subscription like a monthly one that makes it super cheap um, and we order pretty much every single week and yeah it's just such a, a lifesaver because you don't spend a whole bunch of time in the grocery shop getting frustrated because your baby's crying and you need to do the food shop and yeah it's just much less stressful this way so I highly recommend it if you haven't given this a go guess I'm just too scared to settle down there'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you something about you I like 
then um, I'm going to start tidying up in the living room a bit. Um, there are so many toys on the floor all the time because my eldest um, Victor, who is five years old, he just takes so many toys out, which obviously I don't mind because that's what kids are supposed to do, aren't they? But um, yeah, I'm just going to tidy up everything because he's at school and the time that he's at school is the time that we actually get to have a tidy floor. <laughs> and then once he comes back, he just takes them all out. But that's fine. That's what mom life is all about, isn't it? I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is In the meantime, Sophie woke up, she had another feed um, and you can see her here on the sofa. She was kind of wriggling in there She was kind of ready for a play and just having some good awake time So I'm just gonna pop her again on the play mat. She really loves playing there So we're just gonna do a bit of play together I'm out of patience I'm out of feels But I guess I'm waiting the deal because i want you to show me what you and then my husband and i had some lunch and then we were ready to head outside for a bit because it was such lovely weather today it was a nice sunny day and she was getting ready for a nap here she was getting a bit tired so i'm just gonna pop her in the pram put a teddy coat on her and just head outside get some fresh air some sunshine um and yeah i just feel like parenting and motherhood in general is just so much easier when you get outside of the house even for a little bit even if it's like a 10 minute walk just to get outside for a bit and have a different like a change of scenery it makes such a big difference um i highly recommend that if you don't do it already um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out love every it will be all linked in the description box um and yeah i hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>